can you implement a queue using an array? To do this, we create the class queue, and in private, we have the queue array. We have the front and back for the index values, and we have int size for the size of the queue. Now we go down our constructor, and this is where we initialize the queue. We have front and back equal to negative one to show that the queue is empty. And we have deconstructor queue to delete the allocated memory. Now we're going to create the function push, and push takes in the value that we're going to push onto the queue. And we're going to check if the queue is full with the first if statement. Then the else statement is how we actually add the number to the queue. You're going to increment the back because you know in a queue the number goes to the back. It's like the back of the line. Wait, I killed that Loki. Now we create the pop function. The pop function is used to remove the element at the front of the queue. And we're going to first we have to check if it's empty because you can't remove anything if it's empty. Then if it's not empty, we're going to increment the front. In this if statement right here, if the queue becomes empty, we're going to reset it back to empty queue. Now we can go to display function and pretty much if it's empty, you just display empty. And now we're going to go and make a for loop to go through the queue and list all the stuff that's all the values that are in the queue. Now we're going to go into the main function and we see you have the QS with a max size of 10. And we're going to push 10, 20, and 30 into the queue. And we print that. We should have 10, 20, 30. But to remove a number or pop a number off, we call the function s.pop and the number that's going to be removed is 10 because it's at the front of the queue. We go ahead and pop the other number off and 20 is removed. Then we pop the last one off. It's going to be empty because 30 is removed. 